Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be setting up uh, Hearthstone on Manjaro Linux, and this is updated for 2018, so I just did a fresh install on Manjaro. Uh, the first thing you've got to do, of course, is to grab the Hearthstone Battle.net client off of the Battle.net website, download that, um, and of course it can be anywhere on your computer, but generally that would go in your downloads folder. Then we've got to open up the terminal and change direction, or change directory, sorry, CD, into the downloads folder and then do wine on hearth and I use the star as a wildcard so I don't have to type in hearthstone setup.exe and it's gonna say that you need to basically install things like fonts um, that will automatically happen while you just basically go ahead and hit next so whenever it pops up with like wine gecko go ahead and hit install for that and that'll get some of the dependencies out of the way for you by the way um, if you haven't already noticed the dis Basically, the instructions are in the description of this video, so hopefully just following along that will be enough, but if you need extra help, just watch this video and it should give you a good idea of exactly what you need to do. So after a little while, um, those little pre-installation things are going to be done. If it gives you a pop-up where it says like, oh, it couldn't be found, uh, just try hitting install again. It should eventually get there as long as your internet connection is working properly. Uh, so let's see, um, after all that, it should pop up with the initial Battle.net installer, so choose your language, and it's going to update the Battle.net agent. Um, from there, it's going to need to do a download for some of the files related to Battle.net, not quite Hearthstone yet. So uh, once it gives you the pop-up for Hearthstone installation, quote-unquote, it's actually downloading the Battle.net app. Uh, the Hearthstone installation comes after that. Okay, so once Battle.net is actually installed, it will pop up with the little region selector. It'll suggest your region. You just hit con uh, continue on that. And then what we need to do is a wine tricks uh, command. So you're gonna need to install wine tricks if that's not already installed. And in addition to that, um, we're going to need to install core fonts, winhttp and winnet which will automatically add in the overrides inside of wine config. So just go ahead and run those commands. So that's going to be in Manjaro, sudo pacman s for install, wine tricks, and then wine tricks core fonts, space win http, space winnet. Okay, so once the wine tricks command is done, you need to type in wine cfg, and we're going to need to change the overrides. Notice win HTTP and winnet are there by default already. So we need to add in DNS API as native comma built in, and then RAS API 32 as native. Once you've done that, uh, you can pop open the Battle.net uh, tool and go ahead and install Hearthstone. So this should take a little while. It's about a two gigabyte download. Just let it do its thing and then come back to it. And once it's done, you can hit the play button and it will pop up with Hearthstone. Now in my case, it crashed after this and that's where we'll need to do one final thing in order for it to work. So right about here is where it just crashes back out to the Linux desktop for me. Um, it may or may not happen to you, but if it does, there'll be one final thing we need to take care of. So according to the Battle.net forums, what we need to do is delete a file called locationapi.dll, a uh, location in the description. So the locationapi.dll file can be found in Wine, Drive C, Program Files x86, Hearthstone, Hearthstone Data, and then finally inside of Plugins the location API DLL, you have to delete that. Um, and then the next time Hearthstone starts, it should be able to go through successfully. So I'm gonna hit play one more time. And after loading for a few seconds, it should go ahead and pop up into the main window of Hearthstone. So if that works for you, then uh, congratulations. And you should be able to play the game normally. I did try testing a few games out and uh, yeah, works just fine. So that's going to be it for this video on how to get Hearthstone working with Manjaro Linux in 2018. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.